I'm always working on trying to improve my crystal radios and I just came up with one. It's, you know, it's not a huge improvement. It's maybe a 30% uh, ease of use improvement. And it has to do with these rods, the tuning rods. And what I have done is I have replaced the old rods. You can see I didn't really change the length on this one, but this rod is a 1.9 millimeter, the old one, and the new one is a three. Now, if I could get something in between the 1.9 and three, that would be best because to be frank, this is a little stiff to work with and yeah, it, it lacks a little bit of flexibility. The old one is too flexible. I mean, it, when you moved it, it would spring and pop and whatever. Uh, this one is a little bit hard to work with uh, as you are making it. And also the springiness, you want a little bit of springiness this way up and down because it's, um, how should we say? Well, I mean, it's what holds the wire against the coil. So this is not bad. I mean, if you can only find the three millimeter, okay. But it is a bit on the stiff side. Another thing you can see is that I've added a wooden ball right here. That was an experiment. So what I'm trying to do is get rid of the propensity for this stuff to bend and release, uh, the thinner stuff. And I thought that if I mounted it here and moved it here, there would be less flexing. And yes, there is, but it's a little bit harder to tune. I've also left the ball unsecured so I can move it in and out for now. I'm going to glue it later when I find the best position. But yeah, I mean, I guess maybe, I don't know if it's just preference or what I'm used to, but this still feels better back here. Um, I don't know. Uh, problem with back here is you got a longer lever arm and the rod is more prone to, uh, to uh, bending and flexing and that makes it harder to stay on, on uh, channel. Okay, um, let's see. So this uh, rod has two balls on it and uh, a little stiffer rod is, uh, seems to be better. This one is, well, let me get the old one up here. This one is shorter as you can see and it's also it's shorter vertically this way, which is hard to see because I've got an overhead shot going. But yeah, it's, uh, it's shorter both this way and up and down. So um, does it help? Yes, it does. It does. I almost made it too short where it wouldn't uh, contact the wire when it reaches the extremes. So when you make your arm, I said this in my other videos, when you make your arm, Make sure you get it so it'll go all the way out to the end of the coil and won't, you know, be too short. Uh, what else about this one? Uh, again, uh, you know, not as much flex as I'd like. Again, a 2.5 millimeter would probably be in a sweet spot. But uh, yeah, I've been using it. I like it. Uh, it, it just tunes a little bit easier. I, again, I would say maybe a third easier than, than the old rods just because it lacks the flex. And it's really annoying when you get like, you know, you get it right on top of the wire and you let go of it and the rod is flexed and then it releases and it jumps off the station and you're like, eh. So then you fuss with it again. So uh, would I recommend doing this? Yeah, I mean, if you're building a new radio, I would go with the, uh, the thicker rod to begin with. Uh, is it worth the retrofit? Yeah, I think so. It only took me, you know, a few hours to remake these rods. Uh, and again, the hard part was working with a heavier material. It took longer to heat up to red hot. And it was, yeah, you know, it took some more muscle to bend the loops on the end of it. But outside of that, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, well, that was it for this brief update on improvements to uh, your crystal radio wiper arms. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentations.